thought process for today was to slow things down a little bit and just get the guys a chance to try working on some of their skating techniques a little bit slower pace so we have a chance to, to teach them the technique. A lot of the camp is it's high tempo, it's go, go, go. So today's a chance for me and Sean Donovan just to give the kids a little bit, a few more pointers on how to skate more efficiently, working on weight transferring, explosive starts, a little bit of fun with competitiveness in a chicken relay race and hand soccer, but just to teach them how to get low in their hockey stance and, uh, and to move their bodies. He works on a lot of different things, um, quick starts, uh, lengthening your stride, and uh, you just have to kind of take the things that you need. Uh, because all of us skate a lot differently, so uh, he taught us a lot of different things, but just a few things that I really need to work on is like a uh, quick start, three quick strides, and then uh, lengthening my stride as well. Uh, let's face it, uh, teaching skating can be boring sometimes, so if you try to be a little bit more creative, but without losing your spine on what the important philosophy is on how to skate, you want to make sure that you do it in a way that they're going to have fun doing it, but they're actually doing some of the drills that aren't so interesting. Like hand soccer provides an opportunity for you to get really low, and it's also fun doing it. So sometimes they don't realize just how much they're working on the skating stride. With the chicken relay race, we put chickens in their hand, and everyone's like, oh, that looks funny and all that stuff. But really, it's to get their arms going north-south. And if they go east-west, they flop in the head, and they look even sillier than what they did skating with the chicken in the first place. So that's a lot of the theory behind that. take a lap with the, uh, what was the chicken's name? I'm not sure, but uh, we got to take a lap with the chicken and uh, didn't think the D were going to have so much speed and uh, I was just happy that we could get the win. 